Hey, Nicole, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, you have talked about how much fun you've had at prior All-Star games before. Obviously, this one is a whole lot different. No fans. Who are you there with, and what are what are you able to do at this All-Star game? Uh, I mean, to be honest, uh, my, fa- my brothers came with me and, and my wife, girlfriend, wife. So <laughs> I'm joking, wife, and we, we we play cards. So you know, we had a we had a we had a nice family night. Uh, it's kind of sad that uh, the whole family didn't came, um, but it is what it is. Next, we we'll go to Mark Medina. Hey, Nicola, uh, with the one-year anniversary coming up with the season being shut down, what do you remember about that night, you know, playing against uh, Dallas and then learning the news about what happened in OKC and that the season would be put on hold? Uh, I don't, uh, yeah, we were, we, were playing, we were playing Dallas. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I think we, everybody were not, not in shock, just like surprised, you know, we didn't know what to do. So... Some players were looking for tickets to go to fly home. Uh, that was not me. But, uh, I mean, just um, I think we were all surprised and uh, just didn't know what to do, what is going to happen, what's, what's going to happen, is going to continue. But, yeah, you see, one year after that, we are still playing. Um, it was a bubble. Crazy, crazy year. Next, we'll go to Heather Yako. Hey there, how you doing? Hello. Um, so from a late second round pick to a three-time NBA All-Star in this season to an MVP candidate, can you talk about the discipline it's taken for you to get to this point? Uh, I think it's a just sacrifice that you need to put in. Um, two years ago, I made a decision that I'm going to lose some weight, and um, the whole process of losing weight took like six to eight months. Um, I'm still on that uh, kind of diet it it's not that strict that how was that uh, six to eight, uh, six to eight months months but um it's just um it's uh, sacrifices of um giving yourself uh, not a chance just a opportunity you know just to you know your bo- your body is a tool, so you need you need to de- have the best tool po- possible. So uh, that was my goal, just to have my body to be in best shape possible to to perform. Um, and then uh, basketball wise, just to just to um, learn the game and and uh, be more vocal, uh, aggressive, whatever, just to get better, just to be better in in, in every game, in every practice. So. I think it just take a lot of sacrifice uh, and powerful to, to want to go to, to, to get something. Next, we'll go to Alexander Zigic. Mm. I'm mute. Nikola, pozdrav. Evo, čestite već jednom uh, učešnje odnaknici. Kako se očeš pred ovaj pred ovaj All-Star, fantastičan tim i naravno usred ove fantastične sezone gdje si oborio sve rekorde u NBA ligi, a također kako je inače, da li si imao se možda članima familije da veće protaknicu malo se družite i da. provedete? Pa je ne, je to čudna situacija, da će se reći samo jedan dan, bit ćemo da samo jedan dan, sorry, dan i po, Uh, pa to delo, do, do sada delo je kao obična utakmica, pošto mi dođemo dan utakmice, uh, dan pre utakmice dođemo u grad i sutra igramo utakmice, tako da za sada delo je kao mm, o, o, normalna utakmica, samo što eto, sada imam ovaj, braću i braću i ženu s sobom uh, uh, na gostovanju, tako da eto, mm, zanimljivije je bolje, gledali smo malo karte, zazeli se, gledali ovaj UFC, UFC tuče, tako je, žena je posebno duševljena s time. Next we go to Bob Nikolaj. Uh, hey Nikola, uh, we were sat down with Augie the other day and he was talking about how special it's been for him to be on your, your journey through the NBA. What does it mean to you to have him along for the ride? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I met Augie. Actually, I, I remember Augie when uh, I was playing in Mega, and he has some little basketball academy, uh, and he was, like, working on little kids. So that's my first memory of him. Then I met him when he became an assistant, uh, developed assistant coach. And, and then when I get, before even, even go to NBA, he met, we met in, in, in Belgrade and we just, our relationship, relationship starts there. Um, and from that moment to today, it was, um, it's just going uphill, you know, it's uh, basketball wise, just relationship or life, life wise, just we are just uh, going uphill. So it's, uh, it's it was a great journey, and uh, he's someone that um, was always there. You know, he was he was actually coming coming to, to Somber too, and working me out there uh, during summer. And uh, I mean, he's someone. I'm, you know, I'm. We are we are family friends. You know, we are going to each, each other's house. So. It's he's my he's my uh, I say I don't know um, person that I talk uh, a lot of uh, basketball. He's some, uh, when we travel, um, we are we are, we are hanging out. So we are just uh, really good friends. You know? Next we go to Peter Tadic. Ciao Nikola, veliki pozdrav iz Beograda. Drugi, drugu godinu za redu igraš sa Dončićem u ekipi, da li bi mogao da se navikneš na to? I ovaj, <laughs> rekao si da ste gledali dosta ovaj, UFC, a pretpostavljam da ste ispratili duele i a, Rakića i Medića, pa eto malo ja. ovaj, da, ne, neki komentar u vezi tih ovaj, tuče. Pa ja što, eto, ono, ne vjeti smo, nismo stigli da gledamo, a Rakića smo gledali kako da eto, zverimo maksvarno ovaj kako izgleda i ono kako oko, pojevom delo je jako e, na, u ringu onako moćno tako da prepuć sam ga gledao da, da budem iskren prepuć sam gledao obično ovaj brat mlađi u stvari srednji on prati to malo bolje ja tako kada kad se okupim onda, onda ja gledam zanimljiv sport stvarno skroz ali eto drago mi je, drago mi je da imamo naših predstavnika u, u jednom sportu koji je stvarno je u izloznom, izloznom potanju. Što se tiče Dončića, da da, ovaj, sa Dončićem sam igrao ovaj, prošle godine, ili prošle, prošle, prošle. Ovaj, tako da je, pa, znaš, na lako se jako dobro navići, tako da, ovaj, na dobro se jako lako navići, tako da, mislim da ne bi bilo neki problem. Ali. Next we go to Jacob Toby. Nicola, um, what's it going to be like to play with LeBron and and Doncic and Giannis and all all those guys in the starting lineup? And then secondly, three out of the five starters are not from this country. How cool is it to see that this game has grown and some of the best players in the world are not from the U.S.? Yeah, I think that's 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 the that's the um, the beauty, you know. Even in even um, you know when you see the old, the the whole old star, we have a lot of players that are not from from USA. So um, Butcher is a boy, and Embiid is not uh, you know he's he's not from born here. And Ben Simmons. So I think it's some like I think something um, that we are showing that. There is a lot of more talent on the world, you know. It's not just it's not just USA, and I think that's the beauty, you know. We are giving all the kids a chance or opportunity to uh, they can see that they can they can make they can make they can make NBA, they can make All Star, you know. So I think we are hopefully um, living some dreams uh, of some kids, you know. Next, we go to Harrison Wind. Hey Nicola, do you have a message for all the Harvard basketball fans that are that are going to be watching tonight? And just how did how did you get that shirt? How did that kind of come to be the one you were wearing on the plane? Yeah, I mean, it was fun thing because we had some uh, with the Nuggets. We had like some kind of I say interrupt, not interrupt uh, before the game when you. Nikola Jokic from Serbia, I said from uh, school, Harvard, and uh, that's how the, it was a joke, and they, they probably they heard it, and they sent me such shirt, so it's kind of, I can be a smart guy now, you know, so I kind of love it. Next we'll go to Agustin Aboy. 
Hi, Nicola. Uh, congratulations on the All Star Note being started again. Uh, you were playing uh, this season with, in the Nuggets with Facu Campaso from Argentina. Yep. Uh, what are your, your thoughts on Facu's first half of the season and on the team? How is the team doing? Uh, I think in the beginning of the, beginning of the season was not um, the best. You know, we were one and four, I think, and then in, in, in that period. And I think we, well, we had a really slow start. And we we need we need more a little bit more time to get going. But now in the last I think ten we are kind of good. Uh, we are we are um, our record is good. Uh, we can of course we can be better as a team. But you know um, it's a weird season. We need to we need to uh, stay focused. And then uh, one bad game cannot put you under. You know you put you uh, down. And like uh, one game cannot define the season. Uh, still, uh, but Faku, yeah, Faku, Faku is playing great. You know, he, he's still adapting. It's a, it's a different, it's a different uh, style of bas bas basketball. He's ad adapting, but uh, you can see that he's playing better, better. Um, uh, how the weeks goes off, so I think uh, he's going to be really good um, just as soon as he kind of relax and probably tells himself, oh, "I can be. The, this is normal. I can be here." You know. Next, we'll go to Cameron Buford. Hey Nicola, how are you doing? Amazing. Oh, that's great. That's good to hear, <laughs> sir. As a um, congratulations on your multiple no uh, All Star nomination. But as a foreign born player, when you hear the United States national anthem each game, what goes through your mind? Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't even. I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking about probably the game. I'm thinking about. I don't know. It does nothing special. Sometimes I listen. Sometimes I just do something in my own head. It's my thoughts. So it's I don't even pay attention. I don't know. Next, we'll go to Rob Parks. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, congrats on another All Star birth, uh, Jokic. Um, talk about how last year's loss to the Lakers motivated you coming into this year. Mm, not even a little bit. The loss doesn't motivate me. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it was a kind of good series. Not good series. We made it interesting. I think every game, except the first one, was kind of interesting. Um, the game when AD made a, the the three point the last shot that was kind of close game. So I think we put up the fight, you know. But my, uh, loss doesn't motivate me. Next, we go to Leonardo Torres. Hi, Nicola. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. I'm Nicola, really do you think you are the top candidate to win the MVP tonight and at the end of the season? And what does it mean to play alongside LeBron James tonight? Uh, I mean, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm in, a, in a communication, in a conversation, in, in an MVP. But to me, in, I don't know. Am I? I'm not. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, but to be to play with LeBron, I, I uh, played with him last year, so I had a lot of fun. Uh, I always say to the guys, it's always a pleasure to play along, alongside them it's because it's the best players on, on, the, on the planet. You know, and um, I think it's uh, just a fun to to share the core with them. You know, especially to LeBron, who is the who is the best player. So he's actually a really cool guy. Next, we'll go to Nathan Salt. Hi, uh, Nicola. Uh, just a message from the UK. Um, a lot of there's a lot of interest NBA fans in in Europe about a lot of the players that are there now at the top of the game. I just wonder what your thoughts would be on a team USA against team rest of the world if there was a change to the All Star. How you think that the rest of the world players would do? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be interesting. Maybe it's going to be a little more competitive. But um, you know. I think it may, maybe it's going to be interesting, but I think uh, it's good when we mix up, you know, just different, different, uh, 
um, cultures and different uh, styles. I mean, I, I, I still consider myself as a European player. I, I mean, I play more in NBA than in, in Europe, so, um, but I still consider my, myself as a European player. Maybe because of the style of my game, it, you know, it's team first. Mm, but maybe, maybe, maybe one day it's going to happen, uh, USA against the world. Next, we go to Alex Labadu. Hey, Nicola. Uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, how this All-Star game compares to previous ones that you've been to, both in your mindset and just considering all the circumstances um, going into this All-Star game. I mean, my first also game, I was like, hopefully they're not going to do make me do something stupid, you know, sing or dance or something. That was my first goal. Uh, but now I'm like, well, I was here. I, I've been here. You know, it's not I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm excited to, to meet the guys, to be around the guys. Now I'm like, okay, it's it's normal. So I think that's the that, that's the biggest difference for me. Next, we'll go to Mike Singer. Hey, Nicola, I know you have bigger goals than just being an all-star, but what are the benefits of being an all-star, either on the court or off the court? Do you have any benefits? Mm, I don't know. I think the, probably the media, the media is going to recognize you a little bit more. That's a, that's a good thing probably, but I, I don't see, I don't think Probably you you you've been considered as the best in one of the best in the NBA at the moment. So I think that's kind of the the difference I can say. Next we go to Antonis Stragilakis. Unmute. I don't hear you. My bad. Do you guys hear him? Sorry, we can't hear yet. We'll go to Alvaro Martin. Good afternoon, uh, Nicola Alvaro Martin of Ritmo. You were there last year in the in the beginning of this new format in the fourth quarter. Now, in the All Star game, the coaches don't put a lot of schemes and plays. Um, but I wonder what you remember from the game last year in terms of not the players being playing more intensely in the fourth quarter. We saw that, but the coaches doing more substituting and doing more plays and calling more timeouts at the end of that game. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to win the game. That's that's the that's the, that's the that's why we play the basketball you know, to win the game. You know, seems like the four quarter is kind of a little bit more intense, a little more. Um, I don't know. Aggressive. We are, we want to win the game. I remember uh, Chris Paul was actually the guy. Of, Wait, let's let's be let's be a little bit smarter and let's try to win the game. So and uh, that was that was the fun part. You know, just when everybody's locked in and you see the 10 guys on the floor, the best 10 players in the world locked in and trying to win a game, it, it was interesting, you know. Antonis, we'll try to go to you again. Still can't hear you. I'm sorry, man. Uh, we'll go to Alexander Zigic. Nikola, uh, da li možda i razmišljaš kad si, evo, si učenio da kažemo NBA Ligu pre nekog godina, da ćeš ti evo danas biti, ti si sada taj vrh, znači niko to ne sumnja, u tebi stavno govore svi oduševljeni na svim utakmicama, da si ti u samom vrhu NBA Lige, kako je to uh, za tebe osjećaj i dosta procečak, nekad razmišljao o tome svemu? Pa mislim da to možda maštanje neko, ali neko stvarno ovaj, razmišljanje neko, ne, sigurno želiš i, i maštaš da budeš ovdje, ali mislim da to jako, jako dugačog put i mm, onako možda i nestvaran, ali eto, des, kad se desi, ono, bukvalno živiš u nekom snu što si i u nekoj mašti što si kad si bio dete, tako da eto, Pogotovo na trenu kad si sa tim momcima deliš parket sa najboljim igračima sveta, nekako je nekako stvarno čast i lepo osjećaj biti tamo. Ma ne samo na, ne samo u, 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 ovaj, na trenu, u slačionici, u samo razgovorima s njima je nekako stvarno lepo osjećaj. Hi Nicole, that'll do it. Appreciate it. Good luck tonight. Thank you, very appreciate it. See you guys. My pleasure.